People commonly critique Genshin for its lack of endgame content, with Spiral Abyss being quote unquote the hardest challenge in the game. However, all of us at True Endgame, we haven't struggled with Abyss in months, or even years, and our characters just continue to grow stronger and stronger. Many are stuck at this point, and just decide to move on from the game. So how do we fix this? Do we inhale that copium and beg Hoyaverse to do something? Or do we farm artifacts for years on end, only to clear the abyss 3% faster? No. I'm gonna make my own endgame. Achievements. They contain some of the hardest and grindiest content in the game, and with my recent completion of the entire map of Tevat, it seems like the only natural progression. I set my sights on joining the ranks of the not even 100 accounts in the world with every single achievement. That is correct. I will go until my name is number one on this leaderboard. Because, I mean, why not? The grinding scares me not, but as you'll see later, there are a good number of time-gated achievements. And those, they keep me up at night. Unlike my exploration video, I am going to split it up into three parts, as I would like a video to come out before 2025. So the start date is the 2nd of February, and the current version is 4.4. We start at 773 achievements. So only 400-ish to go. Easy, right? I have never tried to farm achievements before, so this number is just from pure exploration and playing the game for the last few years. Also, I need to admit, I have lied to you. I said I 100%ed the entire world, but yeah. I know, the patch has been out for two full days now. I am embarrassed to admit, I haven't done it. But I believe this makes a very good starting point for us. So let's get to it. We begin our journey in the Upper Vale with no real plan, just running around wherever our heart desired. These things right here, holy shit. They are the best things that has ever come to exploring. I might be the worst shot in this game. Quick detour, we're going on a boat ride apparently. Sure. Yep, this is exactly how I wanted to waste five minutes. Cool. Do I get a chest or an achievement or something? Like, the fuck? Oh wait, I did get an achievement. I missed it. Okay, well, lost one. Unlock. Oh. I need keys. Boom. There we go. Easy. I... Oh, we're good. We're good, we're good. Proper bearing. I cannot see the scenery. What? Like that? Okay, yep, mm-hmm. I definitely didn't just fucking spam it until it worked. Yes. I am here to rob a pelican. Is it this guy? You, have you got a fish for me? I mean, I straight up just stole his fish, sure. But like they say, you gotta do what you gotta do to get a chest. Thank you. Alright, where, where is my chest, old lady? Okay, it's locked behind a quest. I think I'm good off that. Ooh, new achievement. I will take that. I don't know what I did, but I got it. Ah, right, we got a quest. We got a world quest we're gonna do. I keep seeing things pop up and say you need this quest first, and so we're doing it now. Please not minus five hours. Come on, short one, short one. Luckily, it was only a short one. Could have been even shorter though if I didn't get stuck on this part. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not on crack here. There's a thing. There's a thing I need. I think I, I need something. Oh, I can talk to this one. Yeah, my fault. I meant to talk to the fucking lamp. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. And also, of course, it's, I met my match as well with the fucking Hydra Slimes. All good. All good, all good, all good. Okay, three of three. We're all done. Quest wasn't quite over yet, as we got sucked into an alternate dimension to fight our worst enemy, the Hydra Slime. And we also versed the tankiest Eye of Storm I have ever met. Quest over. Minus 20 minutes. Not bad. You there. You stay there. Grab you. Put you, like, there. Grab you, put you there, and chest. Not quite. Oh, this guy needs to sit there. Yep, I'm smart. By I, I mean the interactive map. Another achievement later, we decided to check up on the map. Exploration seemed a little on the slow side, but I'd seen a lot worse, so I didn't really care. Should I spare one of my 3,922 fouls to this dog? Uh, I don't know. He's driving a hard bargain here. One full foul. What the fuck? Cutscene? Sure. 
Just don't make me do a quest, please. I have perished. I... My fault. Beautiful. All five butterflies caught. That took a little bit of time, but we're good now. If we're lucky, we might get an achievement for this. That would be really nice. And luckily for us, I was right. Another achievement down. Beautiful. Looking good. Ooh, another achievement. There we go. What's that? Is that the one chest one? I reckon it is. Yep, 120 chests. Not bad. Beautiful. That is 781 achievements in. Very nice. Oh no, I did not bring a team made for fighting. Actually, Nuvalet by himself is worth a team, so we'll be fine. There we go. Jesus. Plus an achievement, I guess, though. Ooh, another achievement. Man, we are racking them up. 800 coming soon. Okay. Touch the piece of wood and you get a luxurious. Makes sense. Oh, uh, I'm good. I just want to get in, mate. Let me through. Oh, no. Oh, no. I see a multiple step process and people freaking out. Not what we want. Okay, I am I am losing my mind trying to do this fucking quest. I am going to fucking punch my monitor. Give me a second. Wait, I think I'm cooking. Hold up. Sure, I just blow up. Cool. Finally, minus 15 minutes. Cool. And that's part one of this, by the way. Okay, it was easier this time. I knew what was going on. Now we can go back to the middle. Offer of this shit up. And we're in. Let's go. Very nice. Three chests. I think they're having a standoff. I would put my bet on right. Oh. Well, I didn't expect that. What is it going on down here? Are these guys friendly or not? Well, they are. Friends. What are friends? Oh my god, I freaked out. 78 geo particles. Bro, they keep just upping the number every time. I do like the arrows though. That's very helpful for knowing where to go. Uh, I am going to call it there for now. We have... Oh my god, we're doing a lot. Holy shit. 85 up here. 69 down here. I haven't even touched this thing. But this should be pretty easy because it's quite small. I've really just been going all over the place wherever the fuck I want. So we'll try and finish it up tomorrow. But not bad for day one. Before we went to bed, however, I made sure to switch my commissions to Monstat. We would need quite a few commission-based achievements from there. And some of them would prove to be a little difficult. If you know, you know. A new day meant more exploration. Or getting sucked into random side quests. Oh no, I was trying to get the chest. I started a quest though. A few achievements later, however, and we had completed our first of the three regions. So we head over to the smallest one to finish that one up. Which was apparently really quick. Two achievements and 30 minutes later and we were done. 100, not bad. With now only one region still keeping us from being fully 100%. Last teleport point. Beautiful. Ooh, achievement. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god. Jesus. And that should be everything. Yep, 100%. Didn't take us too long. Let's go hand in these uh, sigil things. 50 out of 50. There you go. Ah, let's climb everything. All 10 levels. Beautiful. We're getting an achievement for that, I think. Okay, we are fully done in Chen Yu's Splendor. Let's claim these. Chen Yu Vale had been complete, and we had now restored our world back to that 100%, and also gained 19 new achievements on the way. We did still have some exploration to finish up, though, with some missed teleport points and a few sealies to get, so we started with doing that. There it is. Why are you hiding from me? And how do I get you? Beautiful. Is that unlocked now? No. Not yet. What do I do now? Oh, I see it. Boom. We're done. And we are now done with that one. We're getting a lot of 100%s in here. Okay, we're missing a few in Enka. Where, where are they? We're missing three. Oh no, it's quest on quest on quest locked. I have been fighting this guy for about 10 minutes, by the way. There we go, finally. Beautiful, another achievement. And here is my final teleport. Beautiful. 
Okay, Enka is done. I'm going to skip the fishing one for now. And let's do the Inazuma. Shit, we didn't finish off. Okay, we need to follow one more Electro Sealy in Watatsumi. There it is. I see it. Where is this dude going, man? Yeah, well, Paimon, we're in fucking sync. Oh, there we go. We did it. That was worth three chip body chests, I'll tell you what. We had quite a few Miss Sealies and time trials here for some reason. All good, though. We got to doing that now. Boom. That's one half done. I see it over there. That's our lucky last. Done. And that makes 800 achievements. Very nice. We're progressing nicely. Okay, we're missing Sealies, Electro Sealies, and Chests on these ones. All right. There we go. Electro Sealies done. That is 801. All right, that should be another achievement. Yep. Okay, this should be the end. No, one more chest. Okay. Yay, we are done. We are done, 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 done. Thank you, thank you. That is another 100%. Beautiful. And that marked the end of the exploration-based achievements. At least for now. Wonders of the World would still contain some, but we can just ignore that for now. And we moved on to some Spiral Abyss-based ones, which proved a little harder than I thought. I'm just going to take a single Nubula in. I think that's all we need. Ooh, does it count as taking damage if I hurt myself? That's a good question. Okay, I didn't think this through. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Alright, there we go. We did it. I should have brought Freeze the first time, but that's alright. There we go. Done. Easy. Easiest thing I've ever done. Didn't take me five tries. Alright, we need to do 5-3 and then 8-3 without taking damage now. First try. And first try again. 807. And that's another one down. Beautiful. Next up, we're going to go for all the Elemental Specialist and all of the Challenger series stuff. So, should be alright. Time to trigger some Swirl Reactions. Let's do it. I got some tutorial from about four years ago, so ready to go. There we go. I think that was it. Yeah. Now we just need to do it five more times. Wow, finally. Why did that take so long? Next up was Electrocharged, and the strategy for this one was apparently just run around with Kaya. Seemed to work though, as a few minutes later we were done with that one. Alright, we can tick this one off the list. Now we have two left. Next we brought out Xiongling for Melt, and our Lisa for Electrocharged. Another 100%. That is looking good. Perfect. Amber once again proving herself really useful. I think we got an achievement for this, by the way. I don't think I've ever resonated with Electro. Yep, knew it. The next reaction was Hyper Bloom, which proved to be the hardest so far. But once we got the setup down, five more minutes is all we needed. And that is 819. We have one left of this thing. Bang. Easy. I'm so good at this game. And that is another thing 100% it. Very nice. Now, how the fuck am I going to hit a Falcon midair? I've stopped counting. We're at about... Oh, well, we hit it. I think that was about 40 or 50, something like that. Strike an opponent's weak point from extremely far away. I'm just going to search up a setup for this one. I'm not going to try and figure it out myself. After finding a setup and pulling out our Amber, we had now completed that one. Up next, we have Challenger Series. Defeat the unusual Healy Chell 20 times. I've only done it once. Now, the thing about the unusual Healy Chell was that every time you killed it, it would respawn in one of 14 locations. Some being quite annoying to get to. But the real kicker was that you could only kill it twice before it had a 12 hour cooldown. So we would have to complete this achievement across a good few days. Oh, I found him. There we go. You have to die, fella. <laughs> Found him. It was like one of my last spots, but we got him. With him now being on cooldown, we returned. 12 hours later. Ready to search for him again. Oh. My. God. The very, very last spot. I went to all 14 fucking locations, and he's finally here. You're fucking kidding me. I'm not even kidding you. I 
minus 15 minutes, I went to every other spot again and he was at the last one. Bad luck aside, we started the day off with the Challenger series, specifically killing the Magu Kenki while he was taunting us. Got it. Got him. Get fucked. On to the Challenger series 5. I'm going to have to search up how to do these ones. I think I've done it. Oh, he's coming around. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so I'm so good at this game. Defeat Signora without using any moths. That should be easy. There we go. Easy. Wait, we got another one as well. We got... I didn't even try to get this one. Uh, we get this, I guess. Sure. Beat the Bashmi... Whatever that is. Without allowing... Okay, kill it quick. That's... I can do that. Okay, I think I did it. I, I mean, sure. 828 and Challenger Series down. When the Regisfine emits a beam of thunderous light, paralyze it by attacking its Corolla. Sure, I'm going to try and do this without looking at any help. I, I don't know what I did. I have no clue what I did, but I got an achievement. I, I cannot figure out how to get this guy to shoot his beam. I've been running around for about 5 minutes, maybe 10, and he does not shoot his fucking beam. There we go. Finally got him. Finally fucking got him. In a single challenge, defeat six Fundo produced by Jade Plume Terrashoom. Okay. That should be it. There we go. Easy. Beautiful. Challenger Series 7. What do we got? Pyro to burn all the thorns by the Dendro Hypostasis. Sure. I don't know what I did, but I did something. It wasn't the achievement we were after, however, so after searching for a setup, we got our 833rd achievement. We were next tasked with this. Yep, I also had no clue what they wanted me to do, so I searched it up and basically just stunned the six beast things. Alright, that's one. There we go, did it. Activate all elemental matrices, Shoku no Kami. Okay, sure. There we go. Now it's done. Perfect. Up next. Uh, blah, 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 against the Wee Nut. Oh no, not the Wee Nut. We barely managed to get through this one and hoped it was the last time we had to fight this guy. We only have one left for the Challenger series. Oh, we got another thing after this, but one for this one. Unfortunately, we couldn't finish this one today as we needed to defeat all four forms of his. So we'd have to do this across multiple days. Two Gravity Boy 1s. I think I can probably just do this without a setup. Have I done it? I did it. Okay. Now I just got to beat him without getting hit by his attacks. So let's reset. There we go. Just beat him quicker than he can buddy hit me. Easy. This is awkward. Does he want to fight or are we just going to stand around? He finally built up the courage to fight. So we could now get two achievements we needed from his dead corpse. Now we just gotta do this one. Bang. Double achievement. That's how we do it out here. Bang, bang, bang. Another hundred. Looking good. We've done all the challenger that we can do for now, that is. Now I'm gonna work down. I think I'm gonna start, skip the first two because they don't really have a count. I'm gonna try and 100% just working my way down. Up first, we're gonna collect some books. Fun. Book, 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 move, Adeline. Thank you. Book, 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 bang, easy. That was actually really hard, but I got it. Oh, I'm just spamming and I got an achievement. There we go. Seems pretty good. Bang, bang. Model Travels Series 2. There we go, found it. Beautiful. That's a, another thing down, and we're at 800 and 50 achievements. Now we move on to part three. There's one. Another one. Ba, 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 ba. Series four. Let's do it. Hello, Hubel. I'm here to buy every single book you have. Achievement. Book. Achievement. Book. Boom. 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 Done. Model Travails is done. 
Now to master some recipes. Apparently I had never messed up a dish before. I have told you I am skilled at this game. So we decided to purposefully, yes purposefully, fail. And we got a new achievement, so that's good. Done. We did it. Okay, bad news. We have to do another 20. Uh, that's gonna be annoying. Okay, well, minus 30 minutes, we got about 10 of them. We gotta wait for some shit to process, though, so we'll come back to it. While waiting for our stuff to process, we invited a friend, ready to grind out the Meetings in the Out Realm series, which basically involved just killing every single boss in co-op. I remember I used to struggle on this guy. Now he's just free. Easy. Number five. Quick tip, always bring the heater for this fight. Look at this. Okay, how is she not dead? This one too I used to get absolutely rolled by. Not anymore though. He's just gonna die, right? Good. Okay, we fucked it up a little bit, but Skara is down. I have never taken the time to work out this guy's mechanics. I just hit him until it works. Not this guy, actually. Bit of Raiden gameplay, why not? And I now believe that you are the very last. Okay, co-op shit is all done. For now, at least. I expect there's a few more things in Wonders of the World, but we went up 18 achievements, so we're getting close to 900. Let's try and finish the uh, Master Recipes one from before. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Oh my god. Beautiful. Now we don't need to do that anymore. Working our way down on the list, we ran into the teapot. Now, this is where we ran into our biggest issue yet. I spent a good hour and a half learning how the teapot functions and also how to complete the achievements. The achievements here look quite scary, but they actually weren't too bad. And with a few weeks of playing, they could all just be done. With the sole exception of stop gather time. Now, we needed to grab 40 items from the path of value orderly meadow, which in basic terms just means this crop field. We could place down a maximum of two plots, each holding four plants. Each one took three days to grow. Well that's alright isn't it? It means every three days you can get eight items. And only needing 40, that's like 15 days. What's the problem here? You see, this is only stage one. Stage two. Makes you collect a total of 200 items. Now the 15 days have gone up to about 75. Welcome stage three the 200 items needed, quadruples. We now need 800. Yes, that's right, we need 800. Do you see the issue now? This means that at a absolute minimum, it'll be 300 days to complete. At a minimum, that is. Fuck this achievement, man. Also, you might be thinking the other two achievements are also the same, needing 300 days as well. But luckily for them, you can actually plant Valberries and Silk Flowers, which produce 4 and 2 items respectively. So essentially cutting the time in quarters and halves. But there's no cutting time in half for the last one. So that's why Stop Gather Time is going to be maybe our last achievement that we get. Disappointed with this revelation, we set it all up and went to bed. Another day and more commissions, and we were in luck. Okay, good news, we have two quests we need today. Very happy. Beautiful, thank you very much. Ooh, third spot. That's what we like to see. Oh my god, the second last spot, I found him. Okay, I think it's time. It is time to do the TCG. Alright, we spent the last hour and a half getting a good deck and getting farming on the TCG. So we're on it. We're making progress. It's going to be a long sort of ride, but we're going to do it daily and we'll get up there at some point. Every single achievement pack was now either 100% or on the way to 100%, minus uh, a few exceptions. We would come back for them though. But before that, we decided to move on to Memories of the Heart. This would be the last one we did this episode. Now, you might ask, what is Memories of the Heart? Well, it's story quests. 
Not the five star ones, but the four star hangout events. I had only completed one before this, and it was for good reason. These were very time consuming, as you had to unlock all endings, and there were also a few secret achievements for each person. It contained 54 achievements, so completing this would be a big boost to my numbers, and we woke up at 6am fully prepared for a long day ahead of us. At this point, I didn't know what I was in for. We got to grinding, and in the first few hours we had finished both Chongyun and Barbara, getting all endings for both of them. Beautiful. Fuck you, kid. We then moved on to Noelle, who was apparently delusional and thought that the ruined guard died because of her. Yeah, this is this is all your hard work, Noelle. Well done. I'm proud of you. Noelle's story was done, and it had been five hours now. It was 11:30 a.m., so we took a little break to get some teapot stuff done. We should be able to place down our first outdoor set, which means we can get gifts from our companions if we invite them. Give me a gift, please. Thank you. You too, give me a gift. The time was now 12.30, so we jumped back in with Diona's quests. And that is now 900 achievements. Looking good. Okay, we are exactly halfway through the character quest. We've done eight today. We got started at 6.30 a.m. today, and it's currently 4.30. Yeah, it's been 10 hours. I wanted to do this all in one day, but I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get another 10 hours out of this day. So we'll see how we go. We kept going, however, completing Ning Wan, and then we decided to call it a day after grinding purely hangout events for probably a good 11 hours. Okay, let's go find this fucking Unusual hilly churl again. First spot I went to. That's how you do it. With our daily slaughtering of the unusual hilly churl, we got back on the grind. We have five people left. Finally, we're getting close. A good few hours later, and we were now onto the final one. Guess what? It is done. It is done. I have done every single quest here. All 54. That was all. It had taken two days and almost 20 hours, but the hangout events were now done. So our full number of achievements is now 934 at almost 80%. We gained a total of 161 achievements this episode. So a pretty decent job. My goal for the next time is around 95%. I want every single achievement minus the time gated ones to be done. Yes, that does mean the fishing one. We are going to be fishing up 2000 fish. I cannot wait. Give me a couple of weeks though, and it'll be back. Stay tuned for now. Goodbye.